Hello, it's Marco Montorch, Chief of Markham 3D, and today we're going to be creating business cards using Blender. First things first, let's get the right size. So we're in Australia, we're going to use the 90 by 55 or the size by inches. Now we need to turn this into pixels per inch and we want to aim for 30. So what we're going to do is multiply these numbers by 300. Coming into Blender, we will select our camera, select the output properties, and we'll change the resolution to what we need, which makes it this side. So let's select our camera and Alt R, Alt G to reset the location and rotation. G, Z, move this puppy up. From here, let's go into camera settings and change perspective type to orthographic and press numpad zero. And this is our top view of what our card will look like. Let's start off by deleting that cube. Shift A, let's add in a plane, expand that. Let's come down into our materials, new material. This will be our gray color. From here, I'm going to change principal BDSF, BSDF to emissions. And I would like a color that's a little bit gray. So I'm going to change all these values down to about 0.25. Now let's come over up into rendered view. Let's bring up the strength to about five. So this is what we're looking at now. Shift A, let's add some text in. From here straight away, I'm going to come into new and we would put this as text. From here, let's create a new material for our text and we'll call it text. And I want to give it a bit of a blue color. So let's select this. Let's come into RGB. I want red to be zero, green to be 0.25 and blue to be one. Once again, principle BSDF to emissions and let's do that step all over again. I'm gonna bump up the emission and free I'm gonna press tab to go into edit mode and let's type in our brand, which will be Plastica. Now I'm just gonna move this into our central area. From here, let's go change our font and expand the font. I'm gonna open up a brand new file and now I'm in the windows directory with all our fonts. Select sort that by name and I'm going to find my font, which is BN machine open font shift a let's add in a mesh and let's scale that down and scale that on the X axis come over into materials and I want to change this to text I'm going to move this up a little bit and now we can see that uh, the text is off and moving around we've still got our face intersecting with our others so I'm just going to GZ let's move this down now I can click on plastica and set this back up. Now I know that this bar is the center. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna expand this. Let's expand this on the X axis a little bit more and we'll roughly put that in the middle, scale back down on the X, shift D on the Y axis. And I don't like that. I kind of want them in line. So scale on the X axis, there we go. And that's what we want. So I'm gonna bring down here. Let's bring down this brightness, maybe down to two cause I want a little bit more bluer. I'm going after Paul Walker's Nissan Skyline in too fast too fast. from here now i'm going to put some text here in the center so shift a let's add in another text straight away i'm going to add in the color let's bring that over i'm going to copy what i want to select tabbed into edit mode max space control v to paste and now i can go into object mode and scale that down now that i've got that in the right spot shift d y shift d y and let's put in our other details so let's now quickly reposition these from here let's add some logos onto here so i'm going to go file import import images plane find our three icons and import as images from here let's jump over into shading let's get rid of the principal bds f shift a and let's go emission plug that into here color into surface and we've got some yucky blackness so let's move that over shift a let's add in a mix shader and search another one for transparent plug that into the bottom get the alpha from the image and put it into the mix and it looks like we've got it the wrong way around so let's flip these wonderful now let's go do it for the other three two back into the layout now let's just place these in the position that we want and there we have it. Now we need to add in one more line to say what it actually is. So I'm going to right click in Plastica, Shift D, and let's drag that down. Let's scale it in and let's convert Plastica to custom 3D printing. What we want to do now is come up in render properties. I'm going to change this to cycles and let's just press F12. Let's have a look what it looks like. And so looking at this, I can see that it's kind of off center. So let's go here and rather than moving everything, I'm just going to move the camera up G Y. That looks a little bit better F12. And let's have a quick look and there's a spelling mistake in here. So let's quickly fix that up. And there we have it, our completed business card. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and keeps you up to date with my content.